an Ontario Superior Court judge has ruled that the provincial legislation banning TTC workers from striking violated the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The legislation has been declared unconstitutional, effective immediately. The province had called for the court to delay the decision until next year, but the justice in this said the request was unreasonable. The bill was passed in 2011 after a request made by Toronto City Council to declare the transit system an essential service. For more on this, I'm joined live by Marvin Alfred, ATU Local 113 President. Thanks so much for making time for us this afternoon to talk about this development. Thank you for having me here to discuss this. So we want to start off by giving our viewers a little bit of background. Um, this goes back to 2011 when the Ontario government voted to ban transit strikes, as you know, declaring the TTC an essential service. Uh, that was overturned today. And you're calling this um, an historic move. Tell us about your reaction to this. It's a great day for transit and it's a great day for all labour that when irresponsible legislation is enacted that we had to fight, even though the fight was costly, it was fundamentally the right thing to do and I'm very glad that as, on behalf of the executive board and all TTC workers that we had this right returned. How have your members, uh, TTC workers who often interact with the public and it's been some scary times for them, how have they reacted to this development and how has this hurt them at the negotiating table? Well, as transit workers, we're very proud that this right has been returned, but we've been very frustrated over the last couple of rounds of negotiating when the employer has been, uh, you know, taking advantage of this legislation and not really authentically been dealing with us. We've just about had to, you know, negotiate our right to oxygen and sunshine when any time we're dealing with the employer, they know they always had this in their pocket that they knew they could mistreat us based on this legislation. And when the Ontario government asked for this decision to be postponed until next year, were you starting to get nervous? Were you optimistic? How are you feeling about what may have come out of this? I wasn't nervous when we knew we had right on our side. This is a wrong-headed legislation that was struck down, and we're confident that as long as the ar arguments were made by our legal team, that we'd have that right returned. This is something that's fundamental to all labour, not just for transit. All labour negotiations should have, everybody should have the right to remove their labour as a mechanism of being treated as an equal. We've had that right returned and we're looking forward to this being something that will have be equal footing when we have the next round of negotiations. Right. The reality is the TTC is an essential service and in years past politicians have called it the TTC an essential part of Toronto's economy. So should there be any labour disruptions in the future, what would your message be to Torontonians who rely on transit? every single day. Well, everybody that calls this the TTC an essential service and all the politicians that talk about it have not stepped up when it comes to providing the resources to this quote-unquote essential service. Everybody will talk about it, but we need individuals to step up and provide the resources. Transit should not have to beg in order to have safety enacted, in order to have, you know, uh, preventative maintenance uh, put out there, and, uh, you know, being, being able to provide a mechanism where everybody in transit, riders and workers, have a safe environment in order to be successful. If we are essential, why has that not been funded? Why are the provincial government, the federal gov government, the municipal government not funding it appropriately? Every year, transit has to beg in order to be, th you know, uh, have the appropriate resources deployed to transit. And this is what we're hoping this will stop. Okay, we'll leave it there. Marvin Alfred, ATU Local 113 President, thanks so much for coming on to share your perspective with us this afternoon. We appreciate this. Thank you so much. Have a good day.